Hello, everyone. Brian Ehler here. I lead product for the Kubernetes space at Nginx. I'm here to make a project beta announcement and to talk to you about a new Kubernetes API object and how those two things come together. Before the big announcement, I want to talk a bit about history and what got us to where we are today in Kubernetes traffic management. A few years back, ages ago in the evolution of Kubernetes, the Kubernetes API introduced the ingress object. This was all about putting a reverse proxy at the edge of your cluster and the vast array of capabilities that brings with north and south traffic management. Around the ingress object sprung up implementations of ingress controllers. Ingress controllers are reverse proxies that are configured through the Kubernetes API. Operations and application teams look to ingress to support a wide array of use cases from TLS offload, header, response, and body manipulation, load balancing, and API gateway use cases such as path-based routing, method blocking, custom error codes, and even layer four protocols such as TCP and UDP. The ingress object was great when it was first introduced. It became a critical part of the Kubernetes networking stack. And as ingress controller implementations appeared and exposed the capabilities of different reverse proxy engines, each implementation hit the limitations of the ingress API itself. And the projects began to extend ingress and to represent what they needed. The interface and customer experience began to fork across all the implementations. You are probably familiar with the Nginx ingress controller project that is maintained by the Kubernetes community, which is sometimes also referred to as ingress Nginx. That project is only one implementation of the ingress API for Nginx. Many ingress controller implementations, including one from us here at Nginx, either use different annotations or they introduced custom resource definitions. The result was that there was a standardized API object ingress, but everyone extended it in different ways with different annotations. The ingress object itself then became difficult to use and cumbersome. In 2019, the ingress controller project from the folks here at Nginx released its own set of custom resource definitions to unlock the power of Nginx in a different way and to allow more capabilities. To combat complexity, the Nginx maintained ingress controller has broken up the configuration touch points, thus templatizing the main use cases while allowing flexibility for any number of custom bespoke configurations. The ingress controller by Nginx project introduced the virtual server to describe HTTP and HTTPS. This was designed to support concepts such as object delegation using the role-based access control capabilities of the Kubernetes API, isolating the shared configuration from the management of individual paths. We like to say that it provides guardrails around application teams and allowed for delegation of important controls for both networking, platform, and security teams. Around the same time that our project introduced its CRDs, members of the Kubernetes networking community began to get together and talk about how the ingress object could be better. The initial ideas were presented at KubeCon back in 2019. A core of community members then launched a subgroup under the Kubernetes networking special interest group that evolved into what we know today as the Gateway API. The Gateway API special interest group is a true multi-vendor, multi-implementation effort. Like the custom resources that Nginx introduced in 2019, the Gateway API model is conceptually built around a division of control. This is a reflection that in practice, different humans tend to be responsible for different portions of a gateway's configuration. The Gateway API is also an attempt to standardize the most common settings of Kubernetes traffic management beyond where ingress began and left off. Think of the Gateway API as a revolution of the API rather than an evolution or replacement of the original ingress object. Before I go further, let me be very clear about that. The ingress API is implemented and used by nearly every production Kubernetes installation. Ingress has not been sunset or deprecated. Ingress controllers will continue to be a critical part of your Kubernetes infrastructure. What you will see is more and more implementations mentioning the Gateway API, as the Gateway API itself continues to mature. I would also like to mention that the Gateway API is bigger than just ingress alone. 
It also brings in aspects of load balancer, and it is definitely a space that anyone interested in Kubernetes networking should begin to pay attention to. In July, the first portions of the Gateway API have reached a beta milestone. I would like to congratulate the community of contributors for their hard work in getting there. The Gateway API is truly a collaborative effort across vendors and projects, all of us working together to build something better for Kubernetes users. The greatest thing about the group is that to a degree, we're all competitors in the same space. But here we are coming together, talking, working together, finding the common points, discussing behavior, all to bring an experience that we can all build on. The advantage to you, the Kubernetes community, is that you can drop in an implementation and expect it to work, or at least mostly work. You can combine different layers and components, and we are all, for the most part, watching the exact same API objects, the same parameters, the same settings. There will always be room for individual implementations to innovate, for data planes to shine. And this is where we would like you to join us. We have been working on the native Nginx implementation of the gateway, and we are proud to announce that our implementation has reached a beta. And how can you join us in this gateway API journey? You can test the project and provide feedback, or you can join as a contributor. We did decide to do some things differently than with our ingress controller implementation. This is where we're innovating again in the Kubernetes space. And some of the objects of the gateway API have progressed to beta as well. The implementation that we've been working on has also moved. So what, is, what does that mean? For the API, that means that things like API object compatibility guarantees began for the objects that have graduated. Gateway, gateway class, HTTP route. For our implementation, this means it's time to begin to try it out in your lab. Get a feel for the API itself, and become involved in our project or provide feedback. This is how we want to move forward together with the community. We want to ride this roller coaster together with you, our customers, and the larger Kubernetes community. Come along with us on the adventure and join us with the Nginx Kubernetes Gateway project. The Nginx Kubernetes Gateway is the project building on the vast set of capabilities that Nginx already offers bringing the capabilities to the Kubernetes space under the latest Kubernetes API.